Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about the AR500 Armor 2 Point Sling. So, uh, first thing that we should say about this sling is it cost $12, and that's because I got it in multicam. If you get it in like a Coyote Brown or whatever, it's 11 bucks. Shipping, I think, was around $8, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's no way this thing cost $8 to ship. Um, so that's a little much. So all in, I, I'm in for about 20 bucks, okay? I wanna note that because I'm gonna say some bad things about it, uh, but as far as a cost to performance ratio for 20 bucks, this is a pretty fair price, okay? So basically this link is comprised of these two paracord loops, uh, one on each end, right? You loop one around the buttstock there, and then this top one, I just looped around an extra piece of hardware that I had lying around uh, and attached it to the, the front of the rifle here. You could probably also get away with uh, using this loop to loop around the front of the rifle if you wanted to do that. And then uh, they do have these little lockers here. They work okay, they don't work great, they tend to slide down, but you could probably try to lock that up to the front of the rifle and just attach it there if you didn't want to use a piece of hardware, right? If you just wanted to try to loop it around the front of the rifle somewhere, and then maybe I would probably just end up taping that in place if I was gonna go that route. Um, so that's that's an option for you if you don't want to go through hardware attachment. The other thing, which this is a good feature of the sling, this is a big positive, is it does have this pretty easy to use tab here to lengthen and take up slack out of the sling. Uh, that works pretty well. I appreciate how they designed that. That was one of the main reasons I bought it. And it's impressive to see that kind of a simple feature uh, in such a uh, cheap, for lack of a better word, sling. And I don't mean cheap necessarily in, in quality, although I do have some problems with that. We'll get there. Uh, I do like this tab. It's got Hypalon kind of sewn in on a crisscross pattern, so it makes it pretty easy to grab. That's a cool deal. Plastic hardware, no idea who makes it, where it's from, whatever, but it feels solid, so. That's good. For 12 bucks, I think the sling will do the job, okay? The other thing I will say about it that I really do like is it's long. I mean, this is a 20 inch AR and uh, it, you got room in here. Like I, I got room to comfortably get in here. I mean, this is, this is all the way in comfortable. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, and uh, I, I like that. So I like that it, it, you can loop it out and you can get plenty of workspace and uh, you can really put this on a, any kind of full-size gun you want. So that's that's cool, I like that. Sometimes slings get a little tight on l larger guns like that. Okay, so now the two things I don't like about it, okay? The first one is, when you just saw that, when I just put it on, right? I just put it on and it has this tendency to peel out. So instead of sitting like this, which is how a sling should sit, it wants, it wants to sneak out and, and torque the other way. I don't like that. And I think that's because of how this is attached up here. Because they have these paracord loops, and it's just so skinny, it's just such a small point and it turns into a hinge point versus if it was like a two inch wide or one and a half inch wide strap, it wouldn't be able to turn because it'd have more security there. So I really think that's the problem and I just don't know if there's a way around that. Um, I've played with it, I've tried to put it on different sides, whatever up here, but I, I, so far I haven't been able to figure it out. If you're smarter than me and you figured that out, please let me know. Um, that would be good, you can educate me. So that's, that's kind of a bummer. And then the other thing, and this might seem minor, but it, it turns out to be a bigger deal, I'll explain why. First of all, I don't know what this piece is here for, okay? I don't know why they just didn't extend this piece and then attach the paracord directly to this buckle. I'm not sure why they ended up sewing this piece in here. But the problem is, is that when they sewed it in, these ends aren't folded over. So they're just, you know, cut and seared. And they're really rough. And this part sits right where your neck is. And it just scratches and itches and is super uncomfortable. And, and really wears on your neck. Now you might be like, ah, oh, Dylan, you're a little baby. And okay, I'll take that. But if you're wearing, you know, full kit or if you're wearing like a mandarin collar and you got it all the way up or whatever, I think you'll be okay. But if you just want to run slick, this thing is a pain. This thing rides right on your neck and it's constantly itching and not cutting you. I mean, I'm not bleeding, but scratching very uncomfortably. And it's, it's really bad. So for those two reasons, this sling is not going to stay on this rifle. This sling is coming off. Um, I'm, I've, I've run with it a bit here. I've done some dry fire sessions. I've just worked with it. And I just, 
I just don't like it, man. I just don't like it. Now, I'm not going to throw this thing away. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it in my bag, especially if uh, a student uh, has a sling break or they bring a really cheap piece of garbage or whatever. I'll, I'll gladly, you know, hold on to this for those uses and, and maybe I'll end up putting it on some other rifle I'm not going to use very much or something. Uh, I think a way to try to maybe counteract this is you could, I could put a piece of tape over here, right? And I'll probably end up doing that anyway just to try to... Um, you know, get rid of these really sharp ends. But there's nothing I'm going to do is going to get around that point that uh, the sling is going to or the rifle is going to keep rotating away from me. I don't I don't like the way it sits like that. Um, I just don't want my sling to do that. And it's my sling. It's my rifle, so I can do whatever I want. So other than that, like I said, good sling. If you want to try it and you want to take a gamble with it for the ten to twenty dollars it's going to take to get to your house, I'd tell you to go for it. Uh, I like those guys at AR500 Armor. Um, I don't know them or anything, but I just think they're putting out cool stuff. And because they do their nylon in Vietnam, they can end up making it extremely affordable, which is really, really nice. So that's it. That's the AR500 Armor Sling, uh, or AR500 Armor Sling. And uh, I don't know. Try it out. Look, Take a look at it. Let me know what you think. But, oh, the last thing, I forgot about this, one more thing, is that because this thing is so long, it often ends up, see right there, where it, it'll loop over the barrel. And then I often end up trying to really struggle to not flag myself to get this thing to come back. And when you're wearing the gun and there's weight on this and you're trying to swing this, it, it, it becomes cumbersome, okay? So that's just one other thing that, it just kind of bothered me about it. I don't think it's a cheap piece of junk or anything like that. I just think it has some issues. Granted, again, it's 20 bucks, so you can't expect perfection. Um, but for me, I've just decided to go with a different sling for this rifle. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.